and welcome to another video. I am Debbie with The Crafty Diamond. In this video, I have an unboxing from Captured by Radiance. And Deborah with Captured by Radiance sent me this canvas, this kit to review on my channel. And I am so excited to share this with you. This did not take long to come in at all. So I was very impressed. I went ahead, I have opened the box because this one is large and I'm filming in a different area of my house than I normally do. And so I wanted to make sure that I can get as much as possible of this gorgeous canvas within frame. First of all, I wanted to let you know a little bit about this company. And Captured by Radiance is Canadian and US based and they do ship from Canada and they were founded by two sisters who have over eight years of experience in diamond painting. They have some gorgeous kits on their website, as well as really pretty cover minders and some diamond painting pins as well. I do have a 10% off co um, discount code that I will include underneath the description. And also Deborah wanted me to let everyone know that there is going to be a Black Friday sale from November the 23rd until the 30th. And that is 40% off on diamond painting kits. So that is an excellent offer. So I think I will even look um, and see if there's anything else that I want. They have some gorgeous kits on there. I had a really hard time deciding. And this one is not a new release, but it is a recharted release. So the, the canvas has been recharted, some and the colors have changed. And so um, this will be um, a newer video than what she had because this one is a, a re new release. I did get a round. You have um, the option of round or square. The square ones you do have to pre-order right now, but the round ones are available on the website. So let's look at their box. It does say Captured by Radiance, your masterpiece awaits. There is their website on here, which I'll also include underneath the description. They also have a really good Facebook group. So I will put that um, under the link as well. This includes on the side of what is in the package. It is a high definition painting canvas. It is a stone diamond tray, a drill pin, and then what they call painting mud. The instructions are on the back if you need instructions on how to diamond paint. And then this says DIY diamond painting. And I love how their box is has flowers on. It's very colorful. It came very well um, shipped and packaged and there's diamonds on the side. So let's get in this. Also wanted to mention that on the outside of the box, and everything is taped, it's sticking together. Let me grab my scissors really quick. On the outside of the box was this mesh bag that I'm about to show you. I can get it off. This was on the outside of the box I just showed you. I'm assuming that these are enhancements or extras if you wanted to get those. So I'm assuming that this um, came to me because of the kit. Maybe not. We'll look and see once we get in there. But um, these are all ABs and we'll go over all of the drills in just a few minutes. And also, let's get the toolkit out. Another really nice mesh bag. So let's see what is in it. Me need scissors again, let's see. Okay. This tape is just all over this little bag. Let's see if I can just get this off without having to rip it. If not, then there it goes. Okay, just gonna pour this out here. Let's see, what all do we get in our toolkit? We get a really pretty cover minder. And if you're not familiar with what a cover minder is, this just holds back the plastic on your canvas. It does have magnets that you can use. I'm gonna put that, it comes in a really nice little box. And we also have a diamond sticker. Here is their business card, which I'll definitely keep that. We have a boat. 
really pretty washi. And I don't know if this was just by coincidence, but this washi goes perfect with this canvas. So I'll show you that in just a minute. And we do have some very sharp tweezers. Even though this is around, um, I guess I go ahead and give you um, tweezers as well. We have a pin, a squishy. There's also, it looks like a possibly, it's a seven placer if you like to multi-place, and then a little pot of the blue wax. If you use this blue wax, make sure that you do take the plastic off the front and the back of the wax, or you will not have to get any wax on your pen. Okay, so I'm doing all this over. So let's look at the canvas. I just absolutely love, love, love this canvas. Um, it says captured by radiance at the top, it is Sunlit Sanctuary, and it's by Adrian Chesterman. And I'll show you the thumbnail in just a minute. I want to bring this down a little bit. Um, it does have their Instagram and also um, their Facebook information. It says your masterpiece awaits. It also has Oh Snap insurance. And if something is wrong with your canvas or if you run out of drills, you can contact them and they will send you um, the drills. And then also it's 100% satisfaction guaranteed. If you're not um, happy with your canvas, then you can contact them um, for that. And this is a 60 by 80, and it looks like there's going to be um, quite a bit of color blocking in here. So that will be really nice. So you can see um, it is very colorful at the bottom of the ocean floor. There are different um, fish down here with um, whales. There are 45 colors. And what I really like about this is that on the schematic, you have the schematic on, we'll bring it up a little bit, schematic on the left side here. Well, then you also, and it has a DMC and the code, you also have a schematic on the right side here, and this is upside down. So if you like to work upside down when you're at the top, which is what I do, I flip it, then you will have your schematic over on going, going facing you, and so you'll be able to see it better. The way that I do it is I do um, turn it around. I'm all working sideways, upside down, um, so that um, will help if you do that. Um, I don't usually use um, the schematics. Once I kit up, I will use what's in my container, but it's however you like to diamond paint. So I'm gonna pull this up. This is already flattening itself out, and I mean, I just opened the box just a few minutes before I started filming this. It is really good and sticky. It's not too sticky. It does go over on the edge a little bit. That's to be expected, and that's where I will put the washi. And as I said, this washi is absolutely perfect for this canvas because it is ocean and this is ocean, so it's going to be really, really pretty. So I'm gonna bring it down just a little bit and at the end, I will um, show you in more detail what this looks like. Let's see, I wanna show you, I'm moving down, I'm just gonna move this down some so I can pull this up and show you the thumbnail. It's not really easy the way that I'm holding this, but there's the thumbnail. So I'm gonna bring this back. I don't see, I'm looking at the actual drill field. I'm looking to see if there are any symbols that might give me some problems. And I don't see anything that looks um, similar. There is a couple of symbols, number 30 and number 35. One um, is face up, the other one is sideways. It kind of looks like a rocket, and that should not be a problem. I just have to remember if I'm working on this upside down, which one that I'm needing to use. And let's look at, I'm gonna show you also what comes with this. And I'm gonna have to try to roll this. This is stickers. It's on sticker paper. Let's see if I can get this to flatten out a little bit. 
And also with this canvas, it is soft lint, very, very soft. It's also stitched and scalloped on the edges so it does not fray. There is a sticker sheet. The stickers are really small, but they are fine with me because most of my bottle tops are smaller. So that will be nice. I can just um, cut those and then put those on my containers. And then also will give you a small photo, which I will put this in my logbook. It gives you all the information that you need for the canvas. So let's look at the drills. There are four ABs in here. So these are all enhancements. This is going to be really nice. Does not, and it has like DMC. So if you look at, I'm just gonna grab one here. 666, um, that one's 666. This is 5200. What you can do, okay, this is the AB here for 666. So that one is part of it. But for instance, this A, this AB here, number 5200 is a check mark. That's gonna be at the very top up here where the light is shining down into the ocean. So down through here. And she has given me 5200 AB. I can either use this or I can use the regular drills that comes with it. I do know they have enhancements. I don't know how much it is, I didn't even look. I am really excited that um, this was included as part of my kit. So let's look at the drills. And I'm going to flip this back over so we can see the drills better. I'm also going to rearrange just a little bit so you can see the colors better. So give me just a second. So if you like to work using baggies, then this is definitely for you. You don't even have to kit up. You can just start immediately. I do not like to work in baggies because I like to have everything in DMC order. And even though this is in DMC order, when I'm pulling these out of this kit, I um, will not keep them in order if I am working on it. It will just happen where I will put them down. I'm afraid I will lose my drills and I will probably make a huge mess. And I just enjoy the kitting up process anyway. So I will definitely kit this up. I will do this also on another video so you can see my kitting up process. And I do have other videos with kitting ups, but I just love all these colors. So I'm gonna move these out of the way here. One, two, three, okay. Now let's look at the colors. We're gonna have a lot of blues, obviously, and some yellow because of the ocean. This is 939, it is a full bag. I'm looking at the quality of the drills and they look really good. I don't see any problems, they're flat on the bottom. I don't see any divots or you know dimples or anything like that. So I will definitely have to get in here, you know, to see. The bags do have the actual DMC number. They do not have the symbol. So if you were using a bag, you would definitely have to use the schematic on the sides of this canvas. But like I said, I will use those, the stickers. And also you can use the sticker sheet that I just showed you and put those on these baggies if you want to work out of baggies. This looks like they are going to have some static. That is not any fault of the companies. I have been having issues with static for the past month and a half. Um, I'm assuming it's the humidity that we're having and now it's the cold weather. So as soon as I start opening up baggies, it's like they're like little jumping beans. They um, are jump everywhere. So I will just go ahead and I will use a bounce sheet to put in here and just leave it in here for a couple of days before I go to kit up. 
and that will definitely help. So I can feel how staticky that they're going to be. It's not all bags, it's just some of them. And typically for me, it's the darker colors. I don't know why that would matter. But I do think it's just because of our crazy weather. That's really pretty. I'm loving, this is one of my favorite yellows. It's kind of a, a real pale. It looks on here more tan, but it's kind of a tannish yellow. I love this color. And there's also, I think an AB to go with that. And here's some green. And I will definitely bling this up. I think this kit deserves to be blinged up. I don't know when I will get it finished, but I am definitely going to include this in my rotation. I'm getting to where I'm working on several at a time and I'm actually kind of enjoying it. It may take me a while to get some of the larger finishes, but I'm really enjoying having a variety and this one definitely is going to be a variety. I mean, granted, there's a lot of blues. Blue is my favorite color and along with purple. Not necessarily together, but I like both of them. And here is a big bag of 550. And there is a, is that 550? That's 210. I'm just looking to see what other ones I have. That's 898. That's a pretty chocolate brown. Some more blues. Here's a huge bag of 3846. I think that AB goes with that one. Okay. Here's some more yellow. And with the ABs, I'm going to show you which ABs out of the stack of ABs that she gave me actually goes with this kit, comes with it. That's really pretty. That's a pink. Another 996. So I have two bags of 996 here. Then here is 640. That's a really pretty pink there. 152 and then 938. So I'm going to move these out of the way. I want to show you which ones come with it for the AB. So I'm going to move these. I'm running out of space here, guys. Okay. Let's get all of these out. I'm going to flip this back over. Okay, so I want to look at, I'm going to bring this over a little bit so I can see the schematic. So you have four ABs. That's going to be this one. You have this one. 701 is that one. And is this 990? This is 995. Okay. <clears throat> okay. So out of all of the bags that um, she has given me as enhancements, these are the ones that actually comes with the kit. This one is 701 AB, and that's going to be number six. That's going to be up here, and also it's going to be a sum down here at the bottom. And then we have 995. That is an O. This may take me a minute. Um, that's going to be somewhere around here in the blues. A lot of these blues, it's going to be kind of hard to find it on here. Then we have 666 AB. This is a really pretty Christmas red. That's gonna be down here in these flowers. And then we have 444, that's number says a seven. That's gonna be part of the fish. So we have seven here, and then there's a couple of sevens that's up there. So that's a four that comes with this kit. And then if you decided on the enhancements, these are all the extras that she sent me. And I am really shocked on this. Thank you so much, Deborah, and Captured by Radiance for not only this kit, but um, for your generosity. Here's some more. When I go to kit this up, I'm going to look and see where I want to place these. 
And then I am going to mark that on my on um, my DMC symbol so I will know that I have these also in ABs. If you are not familiar with the term AB, that is Aurora Borealis. It has more of a shine or a shimmer than the other ones do, and it makes the diamonds around them shine as well. There is a pink little hitchhiker in there. That's quite all right. And then here's more of the red, so you can see how much these glimmer and glow. Okay. Then we have this one. And here is this. That's a really pretty blue. So I can definitely see how I'm going to bling this up. My mind is just, ideas are just flowing right now, guys. Um, I want to show you what this looks like overall because I know it's hard to see this in frame. And I hope that um, you find something that you like on this particular website and definitely use the, um, the discount, especially that 40%, that is awesome. We are really getting into um, the Christmas season um, here in Georgia. I am looking um, at different shops that are starting to have Black Friday sales. I know there's a lot of them, but I don't think I found one as good as 40% yet. this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up as well as click on that subscribe button. And until next time, happy diamond painting.